Hi everybody, I'm AZ Badfish and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. I'm pretty excited about this one. This is my server, you guys. I'm the server owner. It's kind of weird, right? Uh, this is the Craftonomical SMP. That name was suggested by the Buildmonger and it made me think Craftonomicon, which is why I liked it so much. And if you understood that reference, leave me a comment down in the comments section because you are pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways. Welcome, you guys. Welcome to the Craftonomical SMP. We are a modded community of content creators, YouTube videos, streamers, all kinds of stuff going on in this server. And uh, yeah, this is this is modded. It's modded Minecraft, modded SMP. I'm super excited. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you'll know that um, the full craft series has ended, and this is going to be taking its place. So. Um, We've got a couple people from that server. We've got people from uh, the Lionheart server. We've got people from the Waystone server. We've got people from all over the place. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. So uh, I say it's a brand new server and a brand new series, and that's true, but it has been going for a couple hours now. And as you can see, I am level 15 already. I've got some slime boots that were given to me by Square Mario this morning while he was streaming. That's right, there's already been a stream. After that, Vitergavius has screamed for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> he just got done, so I just decided to hit the record button and see what happens. Uh, I have not done a whole lot, you guys. As I said, this is brand new. Uh, just some super basic stuff. Let me show you what I got going on real quick to catch you guys up. Just a couple little farms. Not even any real uh, real amazing things here. I've got rice mainly. Uh, some hemp and canola and wheat and, and stuff like that. Uh, the flax is uh, actually pretty nice also in this pack. Uh, because I could just right click it and get string. Hooray! <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm having fun with this pack. This is the FTB Revelation, by the way, if I didn't mention that. I'm not sure that I did. Got a little excited there. That's right, FTB Revelation mod pack for 1.12. And uh, yeah, we're all having fun already. So uh, this is a meadow biome, by the way. Looking really nice. Very vibrant green. I like it. And uh, up here, there was this little hole in the wall, which I've kind of expanded. And I've got a little tinker set up here. Nothing crazy. Just a real basic three by three smeltery i haven't even used it yet uh i just went and put the lava in it <laughs> so we look at here i think uh can i even see no but there's a full bucket in there so uh yeah and actually since i've got you guys i'm gonna go ahead and start smelting some stuff down so i can do some things uh, but yeah this is pretty sweet so uh i think today to get started with i really like this this right here i like this this is kind of making me feel like i want to build in the side of this and kind of make my base in here there's also a little bit of a cave system down here not a whole lot i've actually uh gone through the whole thing already and pulled out all of the ores that i could see i haven't really done any branch mining i did dig down to find this lava though uh, because i don't really want to do a whole lot of mining here we've got the mining dimension we can go head out there um do stuff like that so uh all right let's get started i guess i will uh start smelting some stuff down i don't actually have a whole lot i've got copper here copper iron and aluminum is really the only ores that i've got so far so i think hmm hmm yeah i guess tinker's tools would be good i want to get to the mining dimension uh soon i but i'd like to get some good tools some good good tools which means we have to go to the nether so we got a lot of stuff to do and uh <laughs> we've got plenty of time to do it so uh, i think for a little bit here what i'm gonna do is just uh, smelt down some of these ores do a little bit of processing and uh and then once all of this is done maybe we can make up some tools you know what i could do actually is uh i have a no i have a bucket of lava somewhere i think it's in here no it's in here Yep, bucket of lava. So I need another bucket, uh, but I don't even have an ingot cast yet. I don't have any gold. I don't have, <laughs> I don't have really much of anything. So I think to start with, actually, we're gonna need to make a few temporary casts, which means I'm gonna need some clay balls here. Uh, I can make seven with that. Uh, that's probably more than enough. But uh, yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. So if you didn't know, you can uh, put clay into the smeltery and uh, use clay 
to make a cast, but that cast will be a one-time use. So it's not very efficient, but uh, when you're a super early game and you don't really have a whole lot of options, it's not too bad. Uh, can I make... I can. That's that's perfect. But uh, I actually... One, two, three. There we go. So I want to make a few more of these, and then we can make a bigger smeltery, and then I can start working on actually making some Tinker's tools. But, as I said, I need to get... Uh, I need to get ingots out of there. Ah, I totally, totally did the math wrong. And it, man, I'm all over the place. <laughs> all right, so we got that. Now I can take a seared brick and we'll just put it right here. Ooh, that's, that's kind of dumb. Uh, can I get a block out of there? That would be a better idea. Yep, okay. So I'll, I'll just get a block of iron, but then... Yeah, because I don't want to make a single-use ingot cast. I'm okay with making a single-use pickaxe pick head cast, <laughs> uh, which is something I'm going to need to do. Uh, so let me grab... I do have some cobblestone. So we'll grab a pickaxe like that. We'll grab a uh, tool rod like that. And a binding. Binding, binding, binding. You. Come here. Sweet. And we'll throw all of these into our pattern chest which is sitting right behind our part builder, which means I can access my patterns from that chest via the part builder, uh, which here it's called the part crafter. I don't, I don't understand, but all right, that's cool. So uh, I'll select my pickaxe head and then we'll just one, two, we get those. Very nice, throw that on there, swap you to clay, and there we go. So now I can make a pickaxe head uh, once I'm ready to, which I'm not, because I need more, I, well, I need some obsidian, <laughs> which means I need buckets, I need water, I need all kinds of stuff. Man, I'm really getting ahead of myself, I think. <laughs> all right, let me take care of this stuff, you guys, uh, and then I will come back to you in just a little bit. All right, so I might have been getting ahead of myself. Uh, I don't even have diamonds to dig out obsidian, but luckily there's a way we can do it in the smeltery. If I right-click lava, you can see we get lava in the smeltery, but then if I also right-click with water, uh, the water and the lava will mix to create an obsidian block, which is great because that's what I want for my pickaxe head. Bam, right there. And, of course, once that cools off, you'll see that the clay cast actually gets destroyed. So you can't use it more than once, which which is fine. Uh, we don't have access to gold and stuff just yet. So now I'll need to, I guess, finish up making this pickaxe. Why did you do that? Don't do that. I got to just click it over here. <laughs> uh, all right. So now we need to make a stone one of these guys so that I can make another temporary cast. Uh, make sure we're on clay. We are. And I think I'm going to make this uh, out of iron, which is going to be give us a magnetic effect. Uh, not super important for right, uh, long term, but for right now it's good. <laughs> right. And then, actually, I can go ahead and... Um, where is my... Oh, I don't have any sugar cane. I'm just growing it. Let me go grab some. All right, then we got a paper binding. Not not super necessary. We do have Tinker's leveling in this pack, which is uh, pretty cool. We'll be able to um, make some really overpowered tools, which I happen to think is great. So uh, start with, we'll get this obsidian pick. This will get us the, um, the cobalt mining level, which is what I'm really after. So that's really good. So now we can just go right into the nether and <laughs> and get a bunch of cobalt and stuff so we can start making some awesome tools. But I am not about to go into the nether just yet um, because <laughs> I need some armor, right? Definitely need some armor. So uh, I guess all I've really got going for me is iron at the moment. So we can make some iron armor. Uh, that'll be good just to go into the nether the first time, I think. Um, I'm gonna need a bunch more lava though. So actually, let me take a look. Um, huh, because I don't actually have a place that's got a ton of lava at the moment. I want to get a tank though. So we'll need some glass, a piece of copper, which is good. I can do that. I don't have any redstone at all. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't. Pretty sure I do not. Oh, look at that. 
I don't know where it came from, but I got some. That's awesome. Okay, so we'll be able to make this pretty easily. Let me grab, uh, have my copper on me. So we'll just, just for now, we'll just drop one in there. Uh, I, uh, no, I'm gonna have to do more than one. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to make an ingot cast. So two, three, four, five will get us a block plus one ingot. So sweet. We'll wait for that to smelt down, and uh, and I'll make up this tank, and then we'll go see if we can find some lava because uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to make some obsidian. Actually, you know what? I don't need to do that now that I've got this. I can dig out the obsidian just by dumping water over it. And come on, come on, Easy. Use your brain. Slow down a little bit. I know you're excited. It's a new mod pack. It's a new server. It's a new group of people. It's all super exciting, but take a breath. It'll be okay. There's plenty of time. <laughs> all right. Let's uh let's head down and see if I can't find another bit of lava. See, the problem is I found some lava but it wasn't very much. I haven't actually found a big lava lake yet, so um, yeah. I found a ravine that had some lava, but I wasn't about to try and go all the way down there. <laughs> so uh, what's this? Is this the, yeah, this is the, this is the end here. All right, so let's, uh, I've been down here a little bit, but not a whole lot. So I want to keep working my way down and see if we can't, find oh yeah this is the ravine huh see i i am more scared to go in there than i am to go into the nether but i have to go in there to get to the nether and there's light in there so clearly there's lava uh looking at the cheaty mini map it looks like there might be lava right back this way <laughs> uh where are you I don't hear it. Oh wait, I do hear it. It's very faint. It's gotta be, gotta be down, I suppose. Uh, is this bad news? This looks like bad news to me. Can I close this off? Uh, we'll do that. Maybe like this, just to kind of. Uh, you know what? Let's move you up there. I'll put you right there. Perfect. All right. Aha! There we go. There's some lava. Let's see if we can't get the rest of the way down there without dying, preferably. Very cool. Oh, look, there's even some obsidian all ready to go for us. Uh, is this part of the cave? No, it's not. It's just a... Okay, you guys see that? What happened with my hotbar? I have no idea how I did that. It's a shift and something. Shift and something did that, and I don't know what does it. Can I just hit escape? No. If I hit a one, like I have basically have to pick one of these, one, two, or three. And if I push number one, it changes my hotbar completely. I really need to figure out what's doing that so I can disable it because it's super annoying. It happens all the time. Uh, okay. Let's see. So it doesn't look like there is, yeah, there's nothing here except for just this underground pool. Sweet. So we will make it obsidian and dig it out. Oh, I should mention, I should mention, if you guys want to download and play this pack yourself, you totally can. It's free to play. I mean, if you've, if you've got Minecraft, you can just go to the Twitch launcher, download the pack yourself. However, I have, and we kind of talked about it um, before I did it, but <laughs> uh, we have added ore excavation to this pack for the server, uh, which is which is vein miner, basically. So... Um, we have that. Uh, if you want to have that as well, you would have to add it yourself. It does not come with the pack. But I figured I should say that because we're probably about to see some some of that in action right about now. Actually, this might be a bad idea because it'll probably break my pick. But uh, with the obsidian we get, I can repair it again real fast. So no big deal. Hopefully, I don't lose all of this obsidian. Boom! Man, I love it. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. <laughs> oh, that's so much better. How much did I just get? Wow. Wow. Over a stack. That's so great. Oh, man, I love Vein Miner. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. It's awesome. I'll grab this iron while I'm here. Uh, cobblestone, please. Sweet. All right, let's... Uh, uh, 
try to get out of here. How do I get out of here? Like this? That seems reasonable. And then we can just squeeze on through this way. Is that? That is not gold. And we'll block it up just in case anything spawns down there. <laughs> All right, a copper block is done. We'll go ahead and make another iron block. Uh, I needed these for the ingots though, because, uh, all right, right, that thing. Do I have any sand? I do, oh, better yet, I already have glass. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I, I've done a little bit of stuff. Not, not a lot. I mean, if you wanna see, this is my wood chest. I'm practically empty. Uh, Random stuff chest got some decent things in here a slime ball. Oh, I think this came from uh, I know where that came from that came from this thing over there uh, That thing that's got like chests in it and stuff here. Let's go check it out. I'll show you guys. I think this thing spawns monsters uh, Whoa, whoa slow down but Yeah, there's a I, I don't know. Oh, I guess roots Obviously, maybe adds this mod, but there's like a there was a bunch of dungeon chests down here And I think there's some kind of monster spawner in there. I don't know exactly how it works though um, It it seems like it only works at sunrise, which is really weird like if I'm standing out here, right? Uh, and the Sun starts going down all of a sudden there'll be a bunch of monsters in there at, But then they start dying because the Sun's not all the way down. I don't know. It's very strange. It's very strange. I don't know how it works, but yeah, there was like four chests in there and I got a bunch of bones and uh, I got I think that's where the redstone came from now. I remember <laughs> Hop back up here. Yeah, this is getting old real quick. So uh, I'm kind of formulating some ideas on What to do about that <laughs> jumping up and down through there. Okay, we can grab that uh, What is it that I needed? Oh, to make one of these tanks, I need this, I need this thing. Give me one of you, please, thank you. And then we'll go ahead and craft the rest of it. Thank you very much, how very nice of you. Okay, I guess for now, I'll just stick my ores in here with the wood. I know this make a whole lot of sense, but you know, whatever. Um, okay, I've got my obsidian there that we're gonna need. I've got, I wanna make sure I have plenty of cobblestone, oops. All right, you know what? I think I'm gonna get sorted out here and then I'll bring you guys back. <laughs> All right, I'm a little bit more sorted out now. Got my flint and steel, got some basic iron armor, and uh, yeah, pretty much ready to head into the nether, but I need to find a more or less permanent spot for my portal. And um, yeah, I, uh, I don't necessarily want to make this like a temporary spot either. I wanna find the spot where my portal is going to be because this is like basically my permanent area uh, for right now at least I mean I've I've claimed the chunks <laughs> and stuff like I mean I, I it's a big area and I'll probably unclaim a lot of that later uh, for right now it's just for new people as they join in um, with that running around you know trying to find a spot they'll realize that hey this is a this is AZ's place so they won't uh, they won't start building there or whatever um, because yeah, it does look like there's not a lot here. So, uh, I just wanted to make sure that was known. Speaking of new people, um, yeah, we did not actually have a typical launch event, like, uh, you might expect a, a SMP server to have. And that was kind of unfortunate, but, um, it just came down to timing, really. Um, it, with the group that we've got which is a pretty awesome group but and launching like over New Year's Day uh, it just there was too it was too hard to find a date and time for everybody to get together so I just opened up the server and people are gonna be coming in as uh, as they're able to so uh, that's kind of neat but I did want to go ahead and claim this area so as those guys who maybe joined a little bit later which is not a big deal at all but um, yeah so they won't uh, they won't think that nobody's here <laughs> all right so I'm thinking there's going to be a couple of portals that we're going to have here. So I want to have like a portal room. And if this is going to kind of be my base, like inside of the hill, I think I'd like to have a portal room. And I think I'd like to have it. I think I'd kind of like to have it near like the main area, which this is right now kind of the main. So I'm thinking maybe like if I can dig a tunnel through here. And maybe we'll end up moving moving this stuff, of course. But like if I dig like some kind of tunnel maybe up. Well, I don't 
I should have plenty of room up. I should have plenty of room up. There's just going to be a lot of dirt. So we'll work on building a little tunnel and then maybe like up into the roof area, kind of. I don't know. All right, so I've dug out this room here and it's not too far out from here. You can see that's my smeltery right there. I'm hoping this is actually far enough away. I really hate the portal noises, <laughs> um, but all right. So we're hanging out here and I think we'll just go ahead and put in our nether portal right here. Um, now this is going to be a big portal room. There's multiple portals that are gonna go in here and off the top of my head, I can think of four that I'm gonna be putting in here. So uh, if you guys think you know what four portals there are, let me know. <laughs> I'm sure you could think of maybe three of them pretty easy, two of them for sure. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so the first one's gonna be the nether portal and I am gonna light this bad boy up and then I'm going to do some quick maths. Man, I really wish that they would make portals their own thing. I don't like turning down block sounds. Uh, but I hate the portal noises, man. Um, all right, so I've got my coordinates, and the reason I've done that is because Bittergavia has beaten us to the nether, so I suspect, even though he's a bit far away, we might end up in his portal. <laughs> so uh, you never know. So just in case, I know where I need to build my portal in the nether to get back. Uh, this, is this V's portal? Yep, this does not seem to be... I bet if I go back through here, we're going to get to uh, Bitter Garvius Portal. So this is not where I want to be. I want to be somewhere else. I need to go that way. And that way. <laughs> A little bit. All right, I'm not going to take any of this stuff because I'm pretty sure this is V's portal. Yeah, I, I recognize this from his stream. So I'm not going to touch any of this stuff near his portal. Uh, I'm going to go find the spot where mine should be. And then, uh, well, you know what? Let's let's go let's go together, shall we? Just in case, just in case some shenanigans happen. Uh, I need to go about 50 blocks in this direction. So, and a few blocks this way. So we might as well come come up here. And uh, I am quite a bit lower than I'd like to be as well. Uh, I'd like to not <laughs> p uh, pillar up everywhere with cobblestone, but I might have to. Sorry, sorry, B. <laughs> Wow, yeah, this nether, uh, it doesn't seem to be one of those crazy, super difficult nethers. It looks like a relatively standard, modern, or modern, modded nether, which is to say, you know, a few, a few various plants, you know, they've got nether vines and stuff, and, you know, there's, there's the trees and whatever, but for the most part, it's, it's relatively benign, similar to the, uh, uh, vanilla nether, so I am... This is where I want to be, right here, but up. So, I guess let's just pillar up with cobblestone, maybe? Uh, I'm going to pillar out a bit, actually, because I don't want to dig up through that nether rack. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong numbers. Uh, okay, hold on. This is not where I want to be. I was mixing up my Y and my Z because Journey Map shows you the Z before the Y. Uh, okay, so I actually need to go this way about 10 blocks and up. Oh, good. Right over a... <laughs> sure, why not? That seems, that seems reasonable. Uh, you know, I could just get up into the nether ceiling. But the nether ceiling's not that necessary and modded uh I, but i don't want to build a platform over the lava lake either uh well it's not pretty but it should get the job done <laughs> so uh let's light this guy up and make sure that we go back to my base and then i can come back to the nether and uh we can start getting some cobalt because that's what i want my tools made out of <laughs> Oh, come on. Nice. Nice. Took me right back. Alright. Oh, you know what, though? My pickaxe is about to break. 
I should repair it real quick. Well, that does take a second to go between dimensions, doesn't it? All right. Uh, oh, jeez. Already? Are you serious, man? Are you serious? Come on, I only have a stone sword. Leave me alone. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna get wrecked. Oh, I'm on fire. This is not good. Why is this not doing anything? Goodness. <laughs> All right, well, there's some cobalt up there. That's exciting. Didn't he just like randomly stop shooting at me? I don't. I don't know. Tell you what, I don't like being up here though. I want to find. I want to get down there. <laughs> I don't even want to try to pillar up with that gas right there. All right, I'm leaving. Jeez. everything. What the heck? Alright, I really need a ranged weapon. Ah, jeez! Why doesn't that work anymore? And then it despawns. Whatever. I don't care. Stupid game. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Maybe now I can mine a piece. Destroying my beautiful nether. Making it look like the nether. <laughs> Man, there are tons of goodies in the nether. Uh, there's nether bees. There's this... Uh, uh, what is that like empowered glowstone or something it's it's or something it's, it's a liquid that like goes up uh i'm not sure what that yellow stuff is over there i don't think it's gold because i don't think we have like normal like like nether ores like i don't think we could get diamond and stuff in the nether but there's this dimensional shards um which are great i've actually already got a few we're gonna need them for our tools dimensions later which that's gonna be a lot of fun to play around with let me tell you what uh, but yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> my pickaxe is broken because I accidentally vein mined this huge section of netherrack and thought I was dead for sure. <laughs> Luckily, my pickaxe broke before it could actually clear away into the lava. Uh, so I need to get back up there to that torch. Uh, and there's a reason that I marked it. <laughs> oh, can't do that. So I'm going to, I guess I'll just pillar my way back up there. That seems good enough. All right, so I'm going to head back home, and uh, we will s take a look. I guess we'll go ahead and uh, process some of these ores that I've got. I got a decent amount, not a ton. I would have liked to got more, but of course my pickaxe broke because I was I was excited and mining more stuff than I really needed to be mining. <laughs> but, uh, like, I got a whole bunch of magma. I was like, why not, you know? Vein mine one thing, and that got me, like, over a stack of those things, so sure. <laughs> Anyways, let's head back. Wow, so this uh, pack doesn't seem to like to transport me between dimensions. It always lags. It takes forever, and last time it actually crashed me all the way out. I had to restart my client, and when I came back in, I'm at spawn. Uh, so that's very strange. Luckily, I can just do that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess maybe next time I'll do that. I don't know, but let me get the let me get back in my little hole here And we will get these ores processed All right guys, so I've got a bunch of stuff done now <laughs> Took a little while I processed, you know, I stuck all my cobalt in there smelted it down and uh, I've been making individual clay casts for all of these things. It's getting a little old. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting down to mining soon so that I can actually get some gold and make some permanent casts and stuff. Although really, I am probably not gonna need a whole bunch of them <laughs> because I'm making all the tools right now. And in theory, I should never have to make any more, right? Um, because we can level these tools up, we can make them unbreakable, and we've got the gravestone mod and all that stuff. So, uh, you know, the chances of me actually losing this stuff is not 
not very high. <laughs> but uh, of course, saying that now, I'm probably about to go do something stupid and somehow lose all of it. Um, but yeah, all right, now we've got some real tools, right? It's all cobalt, they're super fast, um, they can do pretty much whatever, they've got a decent amount of durability. Um, my manual and broadsword, pretty decent, 12.22 attack damage, and that's without any modifiers on them. This has one modifier. They all only have one modifier, but that's okay, because as I level them up, of course, we can add stuff to them. Uh, it'll probably take a while to level them up though, but um, that's fine. Uh, we'll just have to make sure I go to the nether, get plenty of cobalt so that we can repair them, uh, which didn't seem like that's going to be that big a deal. It seemed like there's lots of it. All right. Um, tell you what, let me get cleared back out, and I kind of want to go back into the nether uh, for a bit because I want to get some lava. I want to fill up this tank with lava, and uh, I want to get some more resources in there. And uh, you know what? If, if anything happens while I'm there, uh, I'll bring you guys back, but uh, if not, I'll see you in a few. All right, guys, so I'm back from the nether. I uh, didn't get a whole bunch more cobalt. I uh, just got 10 bits here. I've got uh, nine ingots there. I've got a few more things in the actual smeltery. I went ahead and filled up my tank. It's not hooked up or anything. I still got to bucket it out uh, for now, but uh, sort that out later. So yeah, I've also <laughs> gone and edited the video, cut a bunch of stuff out, and we're still running long. So uh, I want to go ahead and wrap things up. But before we go, I want to craft up just a couple more things. Um, I want to take a look and we are going to craft up a couple portal frames. I know I said earlier, uh, there was four portals. Here's the second one. <laughs> That's right. We're going to the mining dimension. So I need to make a couple of these, uh, uh, mining multi-tools, which is real cheap stuff. Mossy stone bricks, stone pickaxe, flint steel, and sticks. So I've got stuff, uh, well, I should have had stuff to make too, but I guess the flint and steel doesn't actually stack, right? So it's something like that, right? Yeah, there we go. I need two of them because I need uh, each one of these will make... Uh, why does that... Is it cobblestone? Oh, is it actually stone bricks? That's weird. Uh, all right. Let's uh, do this. Very good. Right. So this will take up the entire mining tool, One, uh, I believe. Right? Yeah. So one mining tool will do 20 blocks. So that's pretty cool. And then you need the mining tool to actually light the portal. So, yeah. I'm at the point now where I need to actually start gathering some serious materials and I don't want to do that here. I want to go mining in the mining dimension. So uh, I am just going to set up this portal real quick. Oh, make that back. We will light it and then we shift in it and we will go to the mining dimension. Now, I don't know if this works exactly the same like as the nether, uh, if this will give me my own portal or if this is gonna use the same portal that V had. It looks like this gave me my own portal because this is the same coordinates uh, as the one in my base. So this is my portal in the mining dimension and it looks like it's a stone. Oh, that's not good. I was kind of hoping that this would be grass. Uh, I know that's a configurable thing, and it's too late now. Uh, I thought it was grass by default. That's very strange. I guess this pack uh, wants it to be this way. No problem. So, yeah, we're in the mining dimension here, and this is where I'm going to go mining. Uh, before I do that, though, I want to grab some things to make sure I have them with me, specifically that tool station, so that when my... Uh, when my picks and stuff inevitably break, I can repair them while I'm out there. But yeah, uh, that's all we're going to do for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. In between episodes, I am definitely going to go mining. So next time we come back, we can actually get into some cool modded stuff. <laughs> but for now, if you did like the episode, go ahead and hit that like button. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know how pumped you are about the new series, about the new server, about all the stuff. The Craftonomical SMP, it's going to be great, guys. I don't think I mentioned we're bringing the Dominion to modded. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna have a big uh, a big server-wide build. It's gonna be pretty sweet uh, Everybody on the server is welcome to join uh, Yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new you don't want to miss anything check out all of the other members Their links are in my description below definitely subscribe on YouTube Make sure you're following them on Twitter and mixer and wherever they're streaming because there's gonna be a lot of content You guys you don't want to miss anything check out my Twitter my discord all that stuff in the description and until next time You guys this is AZ Badfish signing out. See you later. Bye. Bye